Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video we are looking into the difference between retinoid, active retinoid and tretinoin. And as a helper I'm going to work with the Inky Decoder website. This is a great website where you can look up individual in ingredients and they are going to break it down in a very simple manner if there has been some research which sometimes can be extremely complicated to read so that you as an everyday user have a better understanding of what you're looking into. So at first we're going to get started with with retinoin, then we're moving on to retinol and then when active retinoid this way it will make a lot more sense. So right here you can see we are on the tretinoin page. It contains loads of important information however for this video I want to keep my focus on what I have highlighted so let's get started. The word retinoid refers to a group of compounds that are all derived from vitamin A. So under this category you have retinol, you have guanactive retinoid and tretinoin. There are other ones as well which I won't list as they aren't as popular but they belong all under the category of vitamin A and they are different components of vitamin A. Then it says that retinoic acid is a kind of synonym for tretinoin or to be exact all trans retinoic acids are exactly the same as tretinoin. Now retinoic acid is the form that the skin needs so it can get to work because if an, in a vitamin A derivative is not turning into retinoic acid it won't do much so it at first has to be retinoic acid so that you can see some changes within the skin which then can help you to improve fine lines and wrinkles if you have acne prone skin or hyperpigmentation. So in that sense they all work for those specific concerns. But retinoic acid is in this specific case, also known as tretinoin, the most effective one because it does not need to change its form. It is already what the skin needs to work with and therefore it is quite potent. It is extremely effective and therefore you can only get it prescribed by your doctor because some of the side effects are quite intense. Therefore you cannot get it over the counter. This however now brings us to retinol as this is an ingredient that can be used in skincare products that are available over the counter. So right here we are now on the retinol page so let's look into this. First of all retinol pure vitamin A is probably the most proven anti-aging ingredient available over the counter. Now you can get it in zones and creams and it is available in different strengths up to 1%. If you have a retinol product that contains more than 1% look into this a bit deeper and then you will see that it contains a lower percentage of pure retinol and it's combined or mixed with something else so that they can put something higher on the packaging as for a marketing term. Or if you really have a higher percentage than 1% of retinol and it's pure retinol then you probably have got it from your doctor. Either way retinol has to be converted in the skin to retinoic acid to work. Once converted it has the same effect as all trans retinoic acid aka tretinoin. However there's a downturn that retinol is 10 to 20 times less potent than retinoic acid. So let's look into that information a bit deeper so that we have a better understanding of it. Right here they do give you a paragraph of retinol versus tretinoin. They say that tretinoin is effective because our skin cells have so-called retinoid receptors that interact directly with tretinoin as it is retinoic acid but they cannot interact with retinol. Retinol itself is not active and it has to be converted into retinoic acid to actually do something. So here it is what it would look like in theory when it comes to the conversion which would be a two-step process as they do mention it right here. Once the conversion is complete retinol becomes tretinoin but this two-step conversion process is not very effective and effectiveness varies from person to person. This means that retinol is much weaker than tretinoin and it's also possible that retinol doesn't do much for you because your skin is a lazy converter while tretinoin still works. 
So in this specific case, they're saying, well, tretinoin does not need a conversion. Therefore, it immediately works with your skin cells and can help you to improve the specific skin concerns. Whereas retinol needs to go through a converting process until your skin can accept it and use it to improve those skin concerns. However, depending on how your skin is going to convert it, it is more or less effective. So if your skin does a great job at converting it into retinoic acid, you can achieve amazing results with it and you can really see it as well. Whereas if you have already tried several products of retinol, even different strength, and it seems like it's not doing much for you, this probably means that your skin isn't really converting your retinol into retinoic acid the way you would like to. And then therefore, again, tretinoin would be your better option because there you do not need to go through the conversion. Either way, in this specific comparison, tretinoin would always be the better option because your skin can immediately use it to improve your skin concerns. However, the downturn is that it's in most countries not available over the counter and therefore you often reach for retinol as it is broadly available over the beauty counters or online where you can get it without prescri prescription and you can even get it into different strength. And so this is now the biggest difference between retinol and tretinoin. But let's look at Gwenactive retinoid. So it looks like it is quite promising and an alternative to tretinoin, which is available over the counter. Now, when active retinoid is also known as hydroxypinacolone retinoid, or also the short version, which would be HPR. Now, right here, it does mention it is so-called a retinoic acid ester, meaning that it's directly related to retinoic acid. It binds directly to the retinoid receptor of the skin cells to work. The big promise of HPR is that it is similarly active as retinoic acid, but without the irritation. So in this specific case, they do say, well, because it is a retinoic acid ester, your skin can immediately accept it. It does not need a conversion and therefore can give you promising results if you are looking into it for aging concerns. And it has an, a, like a reduction of irritation, which is more common with tretinoin and again with retinol to some extent as well. But they also say that this isn't well researched yet. They just found like two little studies of like an Italian group or even the Estee Lauder sponsored study, but they did not find specific individual studies that would keep the focus on Gwenactive retinoid itself to test the efficacy on humans. But the bottom line, as they do say right here, is that it is great to see that innovation is happening in retinoids and that Gwenactive retinoid is a super promising, as they call it, rising star, but not fully proven yet. So more research needs to be done to back this up, to really see if it could be an alternative to tretinoin, as tretinoin, again, is not available over the counter, whereas Gwenactive retinoid or your good old retinol is a available over the counter. But this is what I wanted to share with you to see the difference between like retinol, guanactive retinoid and tretinoin. I know this can be quite confusing, but this is a great page that's really breaking it down into steps so that you have a better understanding of what you should pick and what you should look, should look out for. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to give a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you want to read articles in your own time, I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below. If you now want to learn more about skincare in general, you want to see different applications, I have several videos for you on my YouTube channel and I'm going to link some of them at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincaring! Bye!